Hi guys, it's Elmer, your fire protection guy. Welcome back to this channel. Today I'm going to test a hydrant diesel pump. Let's go with the procedure before we initiate the actual testing. What I have here is an A-Line pump controller. A-Line is a manufacturer, a local manufacturer here in Australia and they are well known because they supply hydrant system products. This one is the con their control panel and also they supply your diesel, your jacking pump control panel as well as the jacking pump. So before you do any testing, you have to check for oil, water, fuel, ventilation system and the surrounding of the engine. So when I say surrounding, you have to check if there are oil leak in the, in the engine itself or the base of the engine if there, if there is any oil leak. Ventilation system is when you start the engine, at least you have a press air coming from outside and feed it. This one is the control system panel and that's ventilation is good. So when we start the engine, that automatically runs and provides air here in the hydrant pump room. Then you also need to check if does this hydrant pump, if it runs, does it send signal to the pipe detection system of the building? If it does, so better isolate that. Normally when it, this runs, it says the pipe panel will show by, uh, this hydrant diesel engine running. So you can isolate that. Otherwise the pipe panel will be buzzing, make some noise while you're testing this. We normally do the testing for 10 minutes. And also you have to check the water gauge, all right? That is the discharge. And also you better check if there is water in the system before you run the engine. Look at that, our town swimming's water supply. The intake is around 980 kPa. That's pretty high. Normally it's only 500. We don't know if this is the right, <laughs> the right right also we're going to check if any changes in in the system like the valves okay that valves is open the uh, cooling system is properly on its position okay and the heater of the engine is okay anything else the chucking pump is okay so let's go upstairs to isolate the system So I'm ready now to drop the water pressure in the installation. First, we're going to run this, drop that. So we were going to wait until the jack and pump kicks. Jack and pump kicks, we switch it off. And then we wait for the engine to run. While the pressure is dropping. So what we did was we started with automatic testing. Okay, so we just run it automatic testing. Now we're going to run it for 10 minutes on a, using a manual test. Okay, let's start the manual test.
So we're done. Thank you for watching. This is Elmer, your fire protection guy. I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.